Thank you all for joining the Top Gun Collector channel. My name is Al and today we're going to be taking a look at the one third scale Donatello by PCS. But before we jump into the review, I'll go ahead and show you all a quick clip of the unboxing and assembly. All right, so as you all just saw with the unboxing, it's one box, it's pretty compact. Uh, assembling was pretty easy as well. Addition size for this one, we're at around, it's 850 total. So 500 for the regular and 350 for the deluxe. Now I have the, the DX version, so this one does come with some extra swap outs. As far as measurements go, we're looking at around a width of a little under 15 inches depth is around 13 inches and the height is 25 inches so before I get up up close and into detail with the entire piece I'll go ahead and first show you all a few clips of all the swap outs all right so first we'll look at the this is the right hand swap out this comes with both the DX and the regular great detail like even the wraps you can just see all that micro um, micro detail on here it does look real like real cloth and I love the paint apps you know a lot of dark tones and browns grays and blacks on the on the wraps same thing with the fingers then we got like the great skin tone some darker darker shades and then the nails they did a good job with the nails next is the second right hand swap out now this is the hand with the ninja stars it this only comes with the DX version so same details we saw on the previous hand, except that of course this one has the ninja stars that, you know, they look they look really good. Painted well, a lot of uh, damage and dents on it. See it more on this side. Yeah, but no, this is the one I'll be displaying it with. So it looks really good. It gives it more of an action pose when you have this this swap out on. All right, next we'll take a look at the left arm swap out. Now there's only one for both regular and the deluxe, which is Donnie holding the staff. Now, kind of same thing that you'll, that we saw on the right hand swap out, which is, you know, the great skin tones here, textures, the wraps. Now I, I do like that they uh, the def different colors like between the hand wraps and the bow staff contrasts really well so we have the wraps have a little bit more of a grayish 
tones throughout it, whereas the bow staff has more brownish tones. And the details are just really good. Got the elbow here, elbow pad, great paintwork, textures, and the uh, battle damage on it looks good. And then looking at the like the wood portion, it's one color, but you, uh, like you can tell that they added speckles of like I don't know, it's like a lighter lighter brown to give it more of a old um wood effect it looks it looks good all right so now we're looking at the regular portrait now this one comes with both of course the regular and the dx it's just donnie grinning In great details, you can see the veins there. Good shading. That crocodile or that reptile skin throughout. The eyes, I believe those are decals, but nonetheless, they look good. It's just whited out, so I prefer that over the pupils, actually. And the bandana, they did a, it's all, all purple, but it does have a few shades of like gray or white on it so it gives it more of a weathered effect looks good got the wrinkles and the teeth this donny must brush with crest looks good though All right, next we'll take a look at the uh, back portion of the bandana. So you actually get two of these, one for each portrait. Um, of course, one is specifically for the DX portrait that I'll show next. But yeah, I feel like this one does have more details than the one that off of Raphael. More micro details, weathering, texture. Again, kind of like what I said about the bandana on actual um, Donnie's portrait. It's all purple, but has tints of um, gray or white to give it more of a weathered look. Yeah, it looks good. All right, lastly, we'll be looking at the DX portrait. Now, this one does have a different expression. You can see the teeth more. As far as the skin, it's the same. The skin tone's the same. The main difference on this one, of course, besides the expression, is the goggles. So, very good job with the details, the sculpting, the copper, darkish paint back here. Then we have the electronics. Now this is all painted, it's not decals. With some weathering effect on it, looks really good. Even the wires, you can see all that grime and dirt on there. And then the goggles, the goggles look really good. Metallic type paint. And even the top here, I thought this was decals, but it's actually metallic red. Looks really good. You can even see here it's different different colored grays so then we have a strap right here kind of same what you see on his hands a lot of textures and dirt and grime paint so very very good portrait So we'll go right ahead and get started by taking a look at the base. Now it's a uh, similar um, paint applications and sculpting that you see on Raphael. A lot of similarities like, you know, 
we have Donnie, of course, on top of a sewer here with the sewer water kind of coming out. So, looks good. Um, as far as the concrete here, it's just brown. They could have added a little bit more um, different color tones on this one, I felt like. It's a little um, one color, a uh, little bit of, little flat, but on the top, it definitely looks better. You can definitely see, you know, various um, darker tones up here, browns, blacks, grays. You can even see the small little gray rocks or of concrete right here spread kind of throughout the top. So it definitely looks uh, better than you know what you what we have back here. But again, this is the back side; you don't really see it. And then right here we have these metal bars. Um, they're not actually metal, but they give it more of a steel effect by adding some silver paint. So even in the light, it kind of shimmers. So it does look a little bit metal. And then we move over to the other um, part of the base, which is more of a uh, your traditional gray concrete. Even has uh, two rear bars right here. Yeah, so this one's good. You know, we got, it's like the darker tone with uh, lighter shades throughout. And the rear bars, they kind of look like copper with a little bit of silver. Um, great sculpting as far as the sculpt back here goes. All the, the damaged and the cracks kind of throughout. Very good job. Yeah, that's pretty much the base there. And then above that, we have the two mousers. So similar to Raphael as well, you got the, uh, just a lot of battle damage, little nicks everywhere on this. Even in there, you can see inside the mouser's mouth. They use kind of like some browns and oranges just to give it like a rust effect and it's pretty much throughout the mousers. You just see a lot of weathering on these. Especially back here. Very good job with the weathering and the paint apps. And then down here we have the mouser's uh, bottom legs, or just one one leg. But yeah, same same paint apps and just battle damage throughout it. Yeah, but I like that they actually just have one inside the base, just destroy it. That looks cool. All right, and then moving up to Donnie. Um, Very good job as far as the paint applications go on the both the skin where we have um, more of this olive green. I'll put Raphael up here, but yeah, it's definitely a darker green compared to Raphael. It's more of an olive green, and then the toenails. It's um, you know you got brown, a little bit of of uh, yellow mustard, I'd say, with uh, some gloss. So very good job there, and of course the wraps. Same as Raphael, great detail there. Very good. Then we have the, <clears throat> the knee pads. Very well sculpted. They do look like if they're kind of like a leather, leather material, but it's, it's all sculpt with some battle damage. 
Yeah, very good job there. And then looking over here at his, uh, his left arm, you can see again more of that the wraps right there. Even on the bow staff, that looks amazing. The just the detail, the micro detail on there. Very good. Now here, I, I do like that they, it's brown, it's all one solid brown, but they also added like lighter brown at the tip of the bow staff, just to give it a weather look. You can see it right there. Yeah, that looks good. And same thing we have over here, you know. Just a great job with the sculpting. You got that alligator or turtle skin right there, the reptile skin. Great paint application. We have the, again, the leather uh, right knee, knee pad with some weathering and battle damage. And we move on up, it's the front of the front of the shelf. It's like, uh, from what I remember, I believe this one is darker as well from compared to Raphael. Again, I'll put Raphael up here on the table at the end of the video, just so you can see a side by side, a quick comparison. But yeah, they did a good job with the sculpting and the paint apps on this. See all the little speckles and the shading inside the shell looks really good. Then we have the straps sculpted to make it look like it's uh, leather. And yeah, they feel like they did a really good job with that. The pouches as well, very detailed. Even got the, uh, the little silver buttons right in, right in front. Very, very good. Yeah, you can just see all the little little details on that. So great sculpting. Then we move on to like, uh, I guess this is some sort of uh, more of Donnie's electronics here. And yeah, all this is painted, it's not decals. There is one decal in here, which I'll point to, but all this is pretty much painted. You can see like the little battle damage and worn out there. This is different color as well, kind of like a copper. And even right here, you can see some debris or some um, splatter of some sort of dirt. So yeah, a lot of details on here. And we have a wrench here. Again, just see how little micro details, indentations. And then this is another electronic of his. Now this is painted. This is a decal right here. It's like a little radar, but it actually looks good. I like it. And I feel like for decals, um, there's a few exceptions. If it's like a really small screen or if it's the eyes, I'm pretty much uh, fine with that. I just have an issue when it's like a large piece and the company throws like a huge decal on a large, large screen. Like, don't really like that, but no, for, right here it looks good. And then the shell. Great job with the shell, you see the patterns, light brown with some shades of like lighter brown and dark brown in between. More of a realistic look for a turtle. It looks good though, I, I love it. And then again, you see the strap. Now one thing I love about the way they, they 
executed the strap essentially is you know for most part you see a lot of the pieces that they're they put the strap like right on the actual skin or the polystone and they just paint it here it's raised there's a gap in between the top portion and the statue you can see it right here there's a gap here so it kind of gives it a, an effect as if the strap is moving and it's floating so very good job with that you see yeah and as far as like a looking up here um as far as a seam line this is the only seam line you will see but when you look at the statue when it's displayed you'll never see that so they did a good job at hiding the seams here And yeah, kind of same thing that we looked at earlier, same uh, skin tones, you know, different, it's like it's an olive green, but, and then you have a dark, darker shades of greens throughout like the muscles. So very good job. And again, just the straps. Good job with the, with the nails there. Yeah, PCS killed this piece. Really dig that expression as well. Looks really good. And all the weathering right on his bandana. Just flows so well with the piece. <clears throat> but yeah, so here, let me put, uh, let me swap out the, well, I'll put the, select swap outs which is going to be the right uh the right hand swap out with the extra portrait as well all right so i went ahead and swapped out the head and the right hand so this one of course has the goggles on it and yeah i actually like this one a lot um i guess one of the things that for the Raphael one uh, DX portrait on that one. I liked it like the full bandana look. I just Wasn't really feeling the decals on the eyes or like the pupils whereas this one it's all white and I just prefer that so I might end up displaying this one um, But no, they both look good, but yeah, I really do like this one especially has all the details extra details and Looks great And then looking back here, so I went ahead and swapped out the right hand, which now uh, the DX one does include the the Ninja Stars. And yeah, that looks, again, this is, I, I prefer this one, so I'll definitely be displaying this swap out. Gives it more movement, more action. So I like it. That looks good. Here, let me uh, take a step back so you can look at the whole piece. So I'm gonna go right ahead and go grab the one third scale Raphael and put it right next to this one so you can kind of see the side by side comparison. All right, so here we're looking at the one third scale Raphael right next to the one third scale Donatello. Both of these are the DX versions. So of course Raphael does come with an extra portrait, which um, I kind of tend to like the regular one better simply because it has the widened out eyes. And it also comes with a, with a mouser that you can attach to the side, but there's a reason why I, I don't attach it. Um, so I have a full review on this one. If you're interested, just uh, I'll drop a link in the description and on the top right-hand corner of the screen. 
but yeah as far as the bases go like i said it's the same scope paint um same scheme you know it's uh we got the sewer water dripping out from the sewer over here this one i wish it would have had dripping out like right here in front it would have looked a little bit better but looks awesome Yeah, look at the skin tone. So we have Donatello's more of an olive green, Raphael's more of a lime, lime green. Now, one thing I did notice once I put these side by side is that Raphael has a little bit more detail as far as the skin goes. Um, the scales are a little bit more pronounced. The, the paint on the on the skin, it's just uh, I don't know, a lot, a lot more detail. But that might just be a character, you know, specific character trait, because it. Looking at Donatello, it's a little bit more smoother and you don't see the scales as pronounced when you compare it to Raphael. But they look amazing. Um, the shells, so it's a little bit more darker on Raphael. You just have, looks like just two tones, you know, a little bit of black or dark brown with dark brown throughout. Whereas Donnie, we have about three different tones. And you could just kind of see the the split between uh these separate little shells so and that's another difference but other than that it's uh yeah both of these just look amazing together and yeah i just kind of wanted to do a side by side shot of them so you can kind of see how they look and yeah back to the review all right, so that right there was the quick comparison between Donatello and Raphael. Figured I'd give you all one last look at the piece in full. And yeah, I'd say I, uh, well, I highly recommend this piece. Um, if you're, you know, still second guessing or debating whether or not to go in on this line, for the most part, it looks like um, the Raphael's waitlisted. I believe this one may be waitlisted listed on sideshow but you may be able to get it from other distributors but yeah overall highly recommend this piece and uh yeah i'm definitely looking forward to the whole line you know of course we'll have the turtles we'll have shredder i uh wouldn't be surprised if they go pretty deep with this line and give us like casey april crane splinter etc Definitely, we you know once this line is all said and done, it's uh, gonna make a killer display for sure. But yeah, I highly recommend, and let me just go ahead and show this off one last time. But yeah, I highly recommend if uh, if you're debating it. Outstanding quality with this piece. So that pretty much concludes the review. I hope you all enjoyed it. Up next, I will be reviewing the one third scale shredder, which should arrive first quarter, sometime the first quarter of 2024. And recently we just got a teaser for the one third scale Leonardo, which I'll put up right here on the screen. So that right there is a teaser to the one third scale Leonardo by PCS which should be going up for pre-order within the next three weeks or so. Um, but yeah, that pretty much does it for this review. I hope you all enjoyed it. Make sure to subscribe and drop a comment down below as well, just so you can be eligible for one of the TGC statue giveaways. Again, thank you all for joining me today and I hope to catch you all next time. To qualify for the TGC statue giveaways, all you have to do is be subscribed to the channel, drop a comment down below, and as soon as I hit each of these milestones, I'll go live on YouTube, pick one random video, followed by one random comment, and one winner will get to pick a statue from a catalog of 15 to 30 different pieces.